another tutorial. Um, today what I would like to show you is how to use the path deform modifier inside of 3ds Max. I'm using it to create these hoses that I have connecting to this rather mechanical piece that I created. Um, so the first step that you're going to want to do is draw out a spline to be your path for your hose and the next step is to um, create the actual hose that is going to be swept and deformed around your path. So for these hoses what I did was um, I created a sphere, I'm sorry, a cylinder. Drag that out. Now it's important to select the path that your hose will be swept around and we want to see how long it is. So go into your utilities tab, hit measure, and you can see the, dist the length of the shape right there. So we're right at 8 foot 7 inches. I'm just going to round it. So let's see, 8 foot 7 inches. And um, let's see, for height segments, I'm going to try 150. It's a little too many. Let's try 110. Um, 100. Okay, let's convert to edit poly. Select your edge um, loop. Select your edge ring. Add a connect. And hit OK on that. And we're going to scale that out. Like so. And actually, before let me go ahead and do that and then I want to uh, take the entire thing and scale it this way it's too thick there okay let's go back into edit poly and we want to chamfer this Just like so, I'll chamfer that again. Let's try point zero. No, that's fine. Let's leave that there. Okay, we've got that. That's our hose. Let's make it gray. And we're going to select the hose, go to path, deform, pick path, and move to path. There you go. Check that out. So, looks kind of cool being a different size, being a bit bigger. Um, it looks like it does clip right there. So, in order to fix that, I can select the line and the point and just move that back a little bit. Looks like it's not there. There you go connects okay up there and if I want to uh, skinny this up just a little bit I can go into my FFD modifier and scale that down a bit I actually like it a, a little overgrown like that just for the example Looks a little visually a little bit more interesting. Alright, and there you have it. That's the path to form modifier. Thanks for watching.